Celebrated this sweeping the country. Those who've caught it are called ant people, the fervent fans of what is called ant music. And all of that is music sung by British rock star Adam Ant, who is with us this morning. And good morning. Good morning, John. I've been trying to figure out 20 years ago, if the Beatles had been here, what I've said, where did you get that name? So I'm not going to ask where Adam Ant came from. That it, let them find out if they don't already know. Except that your real name is, is Stuart... Stuart Goddard is my real name. Do I properly say thank you, Mr. Ant, for being here? Or when you're not on stage performing, are you Adam or Stuart? Which is uh, it? Adam. Yeah, I like, I like it when people knock on the dressing room door and say, uh, two minutes, Mr. Ant. I love it. It's like the Muppet <laughs> Show. It's great. <laughs> it's, I like Mr. Ant. It's we were talking about the, the patch on your jacket. If you could uh, yeah. spin your shoulder around. You see yeah. this? That's, boys, a, that's a legitimate Apollo the NASA boys going patch. Up there. The boys going up there today. The guy is going up there. Good luck. And uh, I'm, I'm just fascinated by um, the, uh, the whole space flight program, just right since the early 60s, you know, just watching them all go up. And in fact, there's a track on the album called Apollo 9, dedicated to Alan B. Mm. Shepard. So it's just a thing that um, I just love it. I collect lots of stuff. There's it's another pin on your lapel, another NASA Yeah, I get, sent, I get sent lots of stuff from the, f the fans in America. And it's the only place you can actually um, get it. On, on Live Aid, the, um, I had some real patches that have been sent to me from America. Is it things American thing. or things space or what? What, what do you find interesting? Uh, well, I think it's both. What fascinates me is the fact that, you know, it seems when we think of space, we think it's kind of futuristic science fiction, but really America created science fact. And when I saw the film The Right Stuff, it all suddenly clicked that it was a, a wonderful sort of heroic thing and, and a great topic to write songs about. And I was, everybody watched that, everybody watched the space program in the world. I can remember everybody watching it. It was just fantastic. And from there, we, we, we were talking about how the things American inspire you. I observed from my semi-professional position that it seems that all the interesting music these days is coming from your side of the Atlantic. Well, it might seem like it, but what we've really done is stolen it off of you first. <laughs> Messed about with it a bit, you know, sung it in an English accent and, and it comes back again and then it comes back from America again. I mean, I love listening to Little Richard and Gene Vincent and Eddie Cochran and um, people like that. Um, and Alice Cooper and all that. And that, that was when I was growing up. So the fact that some of my records are liked here now is just, um, it's like a baseball game across the Atlantic. Which is yeah. You, you look sedate and, uh, and mild-mannered and, and, and so forth here. What do you say we, we show a clip from... Your video, this is from Viva La Rock, the album of the same name. to stay on top of the world when you're a rock star you you can't uh, take long uh, uh, vacations can you uh last vacation i had was in corsica in about 1975. i put my finger on it really you yeah. gotta you've just got to keep keep working uh, is it harder to, to appeal to an audience now to get their attention visually on stage when they're accustomed to seeing an explosion on the, at the end mm. of your video on television um yeah well i've always thought that the, the video boom was so wonderful but what it's now what you now have to do, what I think I have to do, is give them something live that, that matches it. What do so, you do? Well, for the Viva La Rock tour that uh, comes over here in October, I've just uh, spent £50,000 building a, a set that I think uh, I can fit all the lyrics of the album into. I can be, I'll be running around. It's, it, it's, a, it's a bit, it's very crazy. There's bridges and, and it's, there's jungles in it. It's, 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 <laughs> it's, it's very, I, I like the idea of presenting a live video. It, it's a challenge. And this, it's this year has been the summer of uh, the boss. What do you think of Springsteen? The you boss? Yeah. Well, he's the boss, says it all. You I mean, in England, I must say, the people in England, I've never seen anybody as a, as a person that's always lived in London and always been in England. Um, I've never seen the English people take somebody to heart like that because it, he represents somebody that's made it through just hard work and everybody likes that. And um, he's the boss. I mean, he should be very proud of Bruce Springsteen. He's great. You're the ant. Adam Ant, thank you for being thank with us. Thank you very much. Jack. Good luck to you.